Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's have a quick update on the Bitcoin price because it's insane the move that we are seeing now in the last couple of hours. We went since yesterday up to 10,500 and currently we are exactly at the same price level as we were yesterday before this huge pump during the night. So this for me is looking like uh, first a big short liquidation and then a big long liquidation. It's not clear yet if this is just a long squeeze and then we will come back up here pretty soon and retest or break here the 10,500. But currently it looks like that we just had a big short liquidation and then another long liquidation. And also if you go over to the BitMEX uh, long and short liquidations, you can see that almost uh, both are equal. So on both sides we have a lot of stop outs and liquidations. And in my opinion, this could be be kind of a manipulation or a fake out here up to 10,500 one of the two must be fake and currently I think that we could be in again here for this uh, wedge that we were in the last couple of days and we're gonna see here the real breakout to the upside or to the downside and because we still have a lot of longs I'm a bit aware that we could continue to drop here so maybe this long squeeze or this stump is not over yet and uh, we're gonna see maybe prices again towards 8k before we're really coming up again here to break this main resistance as is, that is in front of us so currently if you were watching also my yesterday's video I was in a short position up here to 10,500 I didn't close my short because I told you that if we're gonna break 10,500 and uh, start to have a support above then we should be good to go to the upside to test new all-time highs but in case that we get rejected here then be aware that we could see a big uh, drop here towards the 20 daily moving average and currently we didn't even touch it or came very close to it um, uh, well, actually, yes, today we crossed it. We went even below. I didn't even realize that. So today we went below the 20 daily moving average. I think, yeah, the, the 20 weekly we didn't touch yet, but we went below the 20 daily moving average. So I told you that even in a bull run, it is possible that Bitcoin always retrace back down here to the 20 weekly moving average, currently at $8,400. So it is possible that this dump will continue. I'm not in a position anymore now. I closed my short position now, even though I think we could go lower. But because we had such an insane move in the last couple of hours, I mean, it started already tonight. And uh, and uh, shout out to everyone on Discord that also were uh, live watching the chart. We were talking like for an, an hour, watching the chart for an hour because it was really crazy. Very exciting because we were already breaking here the $10,300 but we didn't close above there. We started to consolidate here, then it got boring. Everyone went back to sleep. And uh, today we are seeing now this uh, big drop here. So it is really hard to trade and whatever kind of trade you, you had, if you longed here or if you shorted here, uh, I think with these uh, big weeks that we have seen now with this pump and also with this dump here, probably a lot of longs and shorts uh, got stopped out or liquidated. And uh, you can see that currently we're trading again sideways here in the exact the same level like we had before when we had almost no volume and it was quite boring here chopping around around 9,500. And I think that we most likely still have to wait here for a real breakout here to the upside or to the downside because the target here of this breakout was to reach around $12,000 and we got rejected here at 10500 So a lot of people already yesterday took some profits and now I think uh, um, at least the rest of it took profits or had to take profits or got uh, stopped out. And currently it's a bit hard to tell where the next move is going to be because uh, we still need some more data and also I think we have to wait again for a breakout here. But I think if the bulls are showing up now 
and we can successfully uh, test again here the $10,300, there is a very high chance that we maybe are able to break it now with the next move. But in case that the bulls are not showing up right now, I think we're gonna see here a correction to the downside. And the strange thing is that uh, today the stock market is performing uh, very well, also the S&P, even though it's kind of forming here a rising wedge that could break out to the downside, but maybe also in the stock market, uh, we could see something similar like now on Bitcoin when we test the previous highs here and then have a big waterfall to the downside. And because we still also have some, uh, like we have more longs than shorts currently, if we continue to drop the waterfall to the downside could be quite fast, uh, similar like we have seen uh, today. This is quite crazy. It doesn't matter what kind of trade uh, you were in, uh, it was very dangerous to uh, have a high leverage trade uh, yesterday and uh, today. Uh, shout out to you, Hoang. I uh, hope you're also doing well. I'm doing well, but I didn't have much sleep tonight um, because uh, of this pump uh, yesterday. I scaled in my short and um, we were really watching the price, everyone on Discord. Uh, by the way, if you're not, uh, if some of you that is watching from Twitch or YouTube and you're not yet in the Discord trading chat, you find the link down below in the video description of the YouTube video um, for the Discord trading chat. It's completely for free. Everyone is welcome to join. So feel free to join our channel. And um, yeah, we were uh, watching the price because uh, my last short entry was here at 10,500. If we would have uh, broken this and created a support above 10,500, I would have swept over into a long. So I was not sure if I should uh, swap it over into a long or not. And since we were then, um, we stopped to pump here and we started here in the one hour time frame to consolidate in this area, uh, we just went to sleep because it was again boring and nothing much uh, happened anymore. And we were very tired and I had like three, four hours sleep tonight. So I'm very tired and I'm not gonna um, now stress again into a trade. So currently I have closed my short. Actually, I had a, I put it a stop loss on the way down. Um, and I got stopped out, of course, because we had this week again to the upside. And currently we are again consolidating. It is also possible that we go again towards this uh, uh, previous level here of 10,100 but uh, since we had now this major drop here the sentiment could have changed at the moment at least for the short uh, for the lower time frames but remember that the lower the price goes the better we can do shopping here so we can buy some more bitcoins some more alts uh, by the way let me have a quick look here on the ethereum chart as well all the ethereum took quite a dip here but you see we didn't break any significant support uh, levels. We are just back into the level that we were yesterday before the pump. So let's say we forget about the pump that we had yesterday on the next attempt. Maybe we're going to have a sustainable one. Let's see where the breakout is going to happen. But you see that in almost even in the altcoins, uh, we came back to the levels that we were in before. Let me quick look, have a look also on Chainlink. Yeah, all the Chainlink is still in this pattern here. And uh, yeah, we didn't break any significant the support areas. We just came back to where we started yesterday. Uh, one hour probably now is very oversold. Yeah, we overshooted it to the downside here. Currently we are retracing. So I'm expecting the price to go again towards 9,800 pretty soon in case that we're gonna um, have this pump again back up here. Otherwise, the momentum could be back shifted to the downside now. Uh, Stochastic RSI oversold four hour time frame now trading below the 20 moving average. Uh, if we see now that the 20 moving average in the four hours is giving us resistance. So at 9,660 and we're not able to close again above the 20 moving average and maybe also lose here the support of 9K. Maybe then we should look for a short because in that case, the momentum could be really again shifted to the downside. And it, it is possible also that we are forming a kind of um, head and shoulders pattern or an inverse head and shoulders pattern. Um, but it's too early to tell uh, currently. So this could be a shoulder, this could be the head, and here we could create another shoulder and uh, then we could have the breakout here to the upside. That is what I think could happen. 
so that's why I'm saying that we could see maybe something like this forming here again so it is possible that we go down again to 8k 7k maybe you have a week or something down to 6k and then start the, the breakout here this is what I think could happen but therefore we need uh, some time and also we need a breakout here to the downside in order to that scenario to be uh, possible so this inverse head and shoulders pattern is possible but it's still too early to tell currently and if you go to the to the uh, here to the um, Bollinger Band in the four hour uh, you can see that we didn't even touch here the bottom area so also here we have some room to the left uh, to the downside uh, here it looks like that all those 9650 could be uh, um, potential resistance area in case that you see a push to the upside and you want to open a short but as I told you be very careful if you trade with leverage now if you took out profits up here and you're waiting to buy back in from fiat into Bitcoin maybe wait for prices lower than 9k then you are sh you, then you should be good to buy back in maybe the best would be about around 8k to 7k maybe even down to 6k uh, MACD is now shifted to the downside also here and on the daily time frame here you can see that currently uh, yeah we went below the 20 daily moving average which is already uh, not such a good sign but uh, we have to see where we're gonna close today if we're gonna close above 9330 this could be um, a savior for us now because the 20 daily should hold us a support currently although you see that the RSI is still above the 50 and the stochastic is in neutral territory so at the moment we are still safe but if the dumps continue of course uh, things could start to look bearish and we could see prices again towards 8k 7k 6k uh, maybe also depending what the stock market is doing but as i told you the stock market today is doing pretty well but bitcoin or the crypto space could be a leading indicator also on what the stock market is going to do in case that we continue to pump here and not see a breakout to the downside because in the stock market we are also trading above the 20 and 200 daily moving average so in theory we should be uh, again now shifted to the upside also in the stock market so let's see if this dump is going to be sustainable or it was just a long squeeze now and then we continue to trade again here towards ten thousand three hundred dollar uh, I would say in case that you're not anymore in a trade just wait give it a bit time and wait for the next real breakout and what I'm gonna do for myself is uh, that if I'm not gonna short or long right now I will only long in case that we break ten thousand three hundred dollar and create a support above here if we're coming back up here I'm gonna long and if we break out to the downside I'm most likely not gonna open a short position I will wait to reach my targets that I have down between eight thousand to six thousand two hundred dollars and there I gonna scale in my long and buy back in from fiat into Bitcoin so I gonna scale in my long down to the uh, lowest point the price could uh, reach and then write it up of course because I think this could be really the last time that we see Bitcoin uh, below $10,000 for the next couple of days maybe but let's see it's still too early to tell but currently I wouldn't enter a new trade it's just too risky and uh, really no one can tell you right now where we're going next we just have to wait if we're going back up here or if we're gonna lose the 9k support I would just wait maybe uh, have a break with trading at the moment because it is really crazy what is going on currently we had such a big move to the upside and to the downside in a very um, short amount of time be very careful I mean if you're buying or selling from fiat you should be okay but if you leverage trading be very careful or go only with uh, maximum 10x leverage in and of course if you also want to take advantage of these uh, dumps and pumps and you want to be on the right side you can trade over on Bybit, Femex, Primex, PT or BTR. I recommend Bybit and Femex, uh, those two exchanges are the most liquid and best ones. Also uh, yesterday uh, when we had this pump and today this dump I had completely no issue with putting my orders in even though we had a very um fast uh, price movement i had completely no problems to edit my trade and to put more into my trade or close it so on bybit on femix uh, those two exchanges are really great and also you can get the most of uh, sign up bonuses and rewards if you use my invitation links that you find down below in the video description don't forget to join the live streams like you're watching right now over on twitch 
and the, the Discord trading chat. Both is completely for free. Everyone is welcome. And make sure also to subscribe to the main channel on YouTube, Alessandro the Crypto daily TA videos, and also you can participate to the Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 500 subscribers. All right, guys, that's it for um, um, now. I will get some sleep later. Yes, uh, I know this was a very a hard night and also the whole day what was like really crazy and I was expecting to happen something like this. I didn't expect it already today. I thought more towards the weekend we will see such a move, but it happened already and now we have to see what will be next. All right, guys, thank you very much uh, for watching and uh, we see us all in the next one. Bye bye.